Peter Jackson, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg. Discover what driving force inspired them to become the visionaries. I'm as surprised as anybody that we're still here, that, that you know, making these movies and they, that they just exploded in the 70s. You know, all these films were being made because there was no clue that anything like, like what has happened was ever going to happen. I started collecting famous monsters right from the get-go. What's really fascinating about this whole amateur movie thing was, first of all, how many really young kids were doing this. And I made my first one when I was nine. I was always really creative and I got uh, a lot of satisfaction from making things. I was making things up, taking my grandmother's old wigs, cutting the hair off, gluing them on my friends' faces with Elmer's glue. We had the most passionate motivation to create one science fiction or monster movie after another. George Powell filmed The Time Machine, so we had to do a time machine. He did War of the Worlds, we had to have our flying saucer in War of the Worlds. And I've got my own little spaceship stuff kind of from Congress to Space that George Powell had done. One of the things about being a sci-fi boy and moving in the 50s especially and everything is you were known as being really weird. You know, my parents were a little bit concerned at first when I had this whole fascination with monsters. I think people tend to think that somebody who makes monsters for a living is, is like a psycho killer, you know, and, and, and you got to watch out for them because they're going to, you know, eat your children or something, you know. There was something so magical about stop motion animation and I kind of feel a little bit sad for kids today because they, they really don't they don't quite have that. I've seen every science fiction film made possible to me in approximately 50 years, more I believe than anyone else on Earth. You coined the term sci-fi. Yes, I did. About 25 years ago, I was riding around the automobile, had the radio on, and I believe somebody mentioned hi-fi. So since science fiction is always on the top of my mind, if I'd uh, been into James Bond at the time, probably would have been spy-fi. Sci-fi boys.